Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Gasson, and today I'm going to be doing a top 5 weapons video for you, showing you what types of weapons I like to use on my defense and which are my favorite. So you guys, there are about 7 defensive weapons, 8 I believe if you're including the Tesla, and so we're going to just go down the list and pick what are the top 5. So you guys, sit back, relax, let me show you what I got. Coming in at number 5 is the Archer Tower. Now although the Archer Tower does not have as many hit points as the Cannon, which is probably better at stopping wall breakers, the Archer Tower, what I like the most about it, has such a bigger radius to stop troops from getting your 50%. In fact, by putting Archer Towers near the edges of your walls, you'll be able to stop attackers cold from getting that 50% wins. And also, Archer Towers are really good at doing damage against Golems and Heroes. They also shoot air and ground units, which makes them one of my top favorite picks on the list. Coming in at number 4, it's the Mortar. The Mortar has a damage per second of 13 and the hit points are 670. It does splash damage and has a range of 11 tiles stopping those wizards and archers cold. Now you may not remember this, but mortars were a really big part for players in the higher cup range at stopping attackers from luring out their clan castle and heroes. Although it wasn't the strongest weapon, it was really good at foiling some of the attacks when used to put them near the edges of your base. Although now you can't lure out heroes, they are still a really strong weapon if you're at Town Hall 8 and lower, and is the only weapon I can see that has such a shiny look to it. <laughs> Coming in at number 3 is the Wizard Tower. It has 48 damage per second and has hit points of 880. Now I must say the Wizard Tower by far is my favorite weapon. At Town Hall 8, it is the strongest weapon that you can have as it takes out waves and waves of enemies that are trying to get to your Town Hall. Upgrading it to as high as level 7 can even start one-shotting some of the enemies and are really good against troops that flood your base like witches. There isn't really a right or wrong place to put your Wizard Towers. However, by putting them closer to your town hall, they should be more effective. Supercell did mention they initially wanted to put three wizards on top of one tower. However, they changed that and now only one remains. But if you ask me, he's doing pretty good on his own. Coming in at number two, it's the Expo. The Expo is unlocked at Town Hall 9 and as a max level, it costs 80,000 elixir to fill it up. It does 80 damage per second and has 2800 hit points making it the hardest weapon to take down on defense. Now the X-Bow is by far one of the most unique weapons and acts something like a turret. In fact, it's so cool, the Archer Queen decided to carry one as well. Although it is weak against troops like golems and dragons, it's pretty good at taking out troops like barbs and archers. It also has a secondary feature so that you can aim it up so it can take out air troops such as minions and balloons. So if you ever decide to push, make sure you have some of these to help you out. Coming in at number one, you guessed it, it's the Infernal Tower. Now the Infernal Tower are actually unlocked at Town Hall 10 and when they were first released, they were the game changer. Before we had Infernal Towers, we had golems and heroes that were just too strong for our bases. So Supercell decided to release these Infernal Towers to help us out on defense. Now when they were first released, their range was a lot wider than they are now. However, because of balancing, they have been adjusted so that the range is a little smaller, but they have multi-targets on them. They do a damage per second of 42, they can target 5 enemies, and it takes 700 Dark Elixir to fill them up. And they have pretty good hit points at level 3 for 2200. With the Infernal Towers coming in as the number one weapon, make sure you put them closer to your Town Hall so that they're harder to get to. Because of the balance changes, most players are setting them to multi, however I like to choose both, having one single and one multi. With the amount of resources it takes to power up this thing, you can be sure it'll defend your base really well. So you guys, this is my top 5 weapons list, let me know what you think, make sure you comment down there what your top 5 are, and I will see you next time. Godson out.